ओके अनदर क्वेश्चन विच इंटरव्यूअर माइट आस्क यू इज अबाउट ओ एस पी एफ टाइमर और ओ एस पी एफ इंटरवल्स सो यूजली ऑल राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल्स दे हैव टाइमर्स और इंटरवल्स सो दीज आर इंटरनल क्लॉक्स विच हेल्प अ राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल दैट ओके वेन यू हैव टू डू दिस टास्क और वेन यू हैव टू मेक दिस डिसीजन जस्ट लाइक अ टाइमर इन आवर मोबाइल सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल रिप राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल इट हैज अपडेट इंटरवल एंड इट हैज इन वैलिड टाइमर होल्ड डाउन फ्लश एंड सो मच सिमिलरली ई आई जी आर पी हैज इंटरवल बी जी पी हैज इंटरवल एज वेल हेलो इंटरवल डेड इंटरवल सिमिलरली ओ एस पी एफ ऑल्सो हैज इंटरवल सो ओ एस पी एफ यूजली हैज मेनली हैज टू इंटरवल्स वन इज कॉल्ड एज हेलो टाइमर एंड द अदर वन इज कॉल्ड एज डेड टाइमर दिस स्लाइड कंटेन्स ऑल द टाइमर्स ऑफ अदर राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल्स एज वेल so you can just remember these ones as well it will give good impression to your interviewer when he asks you the question and you can just refer these ones as well so ospf has two timers mainly the first one is called as hello timer and the second one is called as dead timer so hello timer means this is the timer which controls that how often the router should send routine messages to its neighbors simply by indicating that it is up and still working so it helps it works only on broadcast non broadcast point to point so there are multiple types of ospf network network means interface types or topology types we can say and the intervals are usually different especially for the non broadcast type of networks we will discuss this the different network types or interface types in the next parts of this ospf interview preparation series there are many other uh, interview preparation series on bgp on eigrp you can just check the description or go to our channel and you will find all of them over there they are very uh, vital for the interview preparation so hello timer this controls that when it should tell each neighbor for example let's say these are two routers router 1 and router number 2 we configure ospf and as soon as we configure immediately they talk to each other they send the hello messages then they exchange the database description and uh, finally they come to the full stage the final stage they are up and working now after every specific time for example 10 seconds or so it keeps on sending the hello messages to each other just to tell although the ospf is complete but they still need to tell each other okay i am still there i am still there i am working so they keep on sending to each other after every 10 seconds and the dead timer in contrast to the hello timer dead timer means that this is the time that if r2 does not hear from r1 because r2 is expecting r1 is its neighbor and r1 must send after every 10 seconds that okay i am up and running so if these messages they don't arrive at r2 so it will wait for 40 seconds and after 40 seconds they will assume that the router is down just like you and me let's say we are having a phone call so on the phone call usually we are talking and after some time if i stop talking or if you stop hearing from me how much time will you wait usually 5 second 10 second you say hello hello can you hear me can you hear me if no voice from the other side you will just turn off the call maybe you will make a new call or you will wait for the call or whatever you will do but usually you will drop the call so this was your dead timer or dead interval which means this is maximum you can wait for the other side because there is no point after this time that okay other side could still be up keep thinking or so much so just drop it and maybe make a new neighborship or if he will be up he will send a new hello message the whole process will start again new neighborship will become active again so that timer is very important because maybe this router 2 or maybe a lot of routers have made the neighborship so they are all waiting for router number 1 to send the hello if they he doesn't send because they have to update their routing tables as well based on that so when the dead timer has passed it means they are considering router 1 or all the routes which were linked with router 1 or they were coming through router 1 they are considered as invalid also so they remove from their routing table so a lot of decisions have to happen based on this as well so so in this way hello and update timer sorry hello and dead timer 
they help the ospf to converge quickly and to maintain the changes to adapt to changes quickly as well so it doesn't wait so for broadcast type the default hello interval is 10 seconds and that is 40 if the ospf interface type is non broadcast it's 30 second and 120 second so usually the dead interval is four times of the hello so multiplied by four hello timers this is the formula so if this one is 10 this one is 40 this one is 30 multiplied by 4 120 this one is 10 multiplied by 4 40 seconds and loop back no need because it's just a local interface so although we can configure ospf on the loop back as well we can advertise it but no need for that and hello interval because it's not gonna communicate on physical interfaces anymore another important point is that whenever we have two ospf routers who are uh, who have become neighbor or or adjacency to each other let me take back that picture so the dead and hello interval they must match on the both sides because we can configure these ones we can modify these ones as well so by default let's say it's a, a point to point so this one hello will be 10 seconds and dead timer will be 40 second four time of it here hello is 10 second by default and that timer is 40 seconds by default this is router one and this is router two so if we change for example this one we can change actually it's configurable 20 second the neighborship will not come up so it will go down why because neighbors are not matching with each other timers are not matching here you can see we can check the neighborship by show ip ospf interface include intervals or just run these commands until here this is the pipe command to just filter uh, the line which contains intervals as well so it will only show you this line otherwise it will show you a very long output so you can see the dead is 40 weight is 40 as well and then if you shut down the interface on one side let's say on router number one you shut down this interface means physical interface fa0 slice 0 if this is fa0 slice 0 then after 40 seconds this is gonna happen it will say neighbor is down immediately it will not say neighbor down on the other side so r2 will report that okay i did not receive for 40 seconds the hello interval so i am declaring that r1 is no more for me i am removing all the routes received from r1 from my routing table because the dead timer has expired we can also improve the convergence for example why they are configurable so that we can make the convergence fast so if you want that okay hello interval should not wait for 10 seconds it should be one second because this type of network let's say it's a banking application which is running behind on this network so you don't want to wait 10 seconds for ospf to declare it down so you can configure that okay after every one second they keep on sending to each other hello intervals and after three seconds if you don't receive okay remove remove the routes because you cannot afford any mistake any slow routes any slow ospf or slow routing network because these computers for example if they are running the credit card transactions the customers cannot wait this type of application so we can modify or if it's flapping so much you can increase the dead and hello interval to slow it down so that you don't see so much so you can modify it according to your requirements so this is all about ospf timers i gave you a practice lab just now in the previous section if you have not watched that so please go through it you can also attempt this quiz of ospf go to the website network box or search in the google for ospf quiz it will bring you here enter your email address and select your answers according to the ospf parts click on submit and it will show you your results i got zero marks because i didn't attempt anything and it tells you which answer is wrong which answer is correct as well so you can practice like this and you can practice this lab as well so this is the lab like all our labs this lab contains the topology the clear task that you have to configure ospf on this network on this topology router one router two router three three routers and a switch to create multi-access segment so that we have drb dr scenario even if it's point to point you know 
still they select DRP, DR, but it's not significant, actually not useful. Usually it's more than two routers, unless you change the type of the OSPF. And there could be a tricky question as well, that can we make sure that there is no DRB DR problem? So usually what happens, even if this is multi-access segment, so this type of the interface of FA0 slice 0, we can go, we can say in the command line that, okay, the OSPF type is point to point. And this side also we can make it point to point. So although there is a multi-access segment, although there is a switch, but still they will create a virtual point to point connection. In this way, DR, BDR will not be much significant as well. But that happens usually on um, complex networks like uh, advanced configuration. For CCNA, CCNP level, it's not seen anywhere. So this is the lab, then the solution step by step, you have to configure OSPF, modify the priorities. So here you can perform this lab, follow this solution and in the verification, you can see changing of DRBDR states before making the changes. What was the state after making the changes? What was the state? So you can make the comparisons like this using the show IP OSPF neighbor commands. And then there is, there is this packet tracer topology. You can click on the routers do the configuration to do the simulations like this and the lab has been made using packet tracer version number 8.0 so make sure you have 8.0 or higher packet tracer not 7.123 those ones so this is all about ospf timers if you have any questions i'll upload this lab and i'll share the download link in your uh, description of this video plus other resources like uh, cheat sheets, like these summary sheets, which are also very helpful for the study of OSPF topic. These are one page explainers of the whole topic of OSPF about cost, about router types, router ID selection, DR, BDR, packet types, multicast, router types, OSPF neighbor states, a lot of different things. It covers the whole OSPF topic in five sheets. You guys can also download from the description of the video so if you have any questions you can write in the comments below and we'll ha be happy to answer see you in the next part of ospf interview we are making these videos short so that you can focus on one or two or three topics in one video like three four questions in one video and the next